So I am currently in Aldi car park and I've just noticed something related to physics and that is evaporation. Now as you can see on my front bonnet there is no evaporation happening. However, if I increase the temperature of the engine by revving the car, you will begin to see that the energy transfers to the ice on the front of the bonnet and that energy is enough to cause quite a bit of the solid ice to turn into gas. So let's have a look. Yeah, there it is, <coughs> and this is how um, evaporation works. You need to put in heat energy, which turns the, in this case, solid water, ice, into liquid and then gas. <sighs> so that's the steam being given off. And this is a similar principle with cooling down after you're sweating. So my engine is giving heat to the ice, which turns to liquid and gas. That gas evaporates. And when that gas evaporates, it's taking that heat energy with it. So actually in this process, my engine is being cooled down because its heat is being lost via evaporation. And that's why you feel cooler when you're sweating. <laughs> Can you see the steam rising? Yeah, there it is. <coughs> and this is how um, evaporation works, you need to put in heat energy which turns the, in this case, solid water, ice, into liquid and then gas. So that's the steam being given off. And this is a similar principle with cooling down after you're sweating. So my engine is giving heat to the ice, which turns to liquid and gas. That gas evaporates. And when that gas evaporates, it's taking that heat energy with it. So actually in this process, my engine is being cooled down because its heat is being lost via evaporation. And that's why you feel cooler when you're sweating. 